WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 4 o'clock closing bell market update. Dow's down 172. I shouldn't have said update. I should say down date. 34,565. Sitting under just under the 200 period moving average in the daily, the weekly is looking a little weak, and the monthly chart we have to wait till the all of February to get the candle for that. But in the meantime, if today's low of 34,304, I would even say the 34,200 level must hold in any pullback at this particular point, because what you want to see is this arch formation turn into a lowercase m with a bounce. It doesn't have to go all that high, but it's got to attempt to get to the 34,680, 34,760 level in, in the next couple of days. And if it's able to do that, it says, yep, you could bounce a little bit more, a little relief rally, but the big tide is going down. And we, we are looking at the smaller tide at this particular point for the um, intra-week action. And the S&P closed below. It's 200 period moving average down 17 and 4401. Uh, the technicals are pretty weak. It needs to bounce and it's got to. With by Thursday, I'd say at the latest, it's got to get above 4480. If it can do that, then you've got this, a second arch formation. Wow, any break under today's low of I, I, well 4364. Let's call it 4352. Would be a big negative. QQQ one two three. There we go. QQQs are arching over in that H pattern that we talk about. It had a decent candle. It was up 50 cents today, 347.57. Can there be some strength? And, of course, everything is dependent upon, upon, upon the news, uh, Russia-Ukrainian news. Um, and, and it's kind of fluctuating with that, but there are a lot of other things. Uh, and we're looking at to see if there's some kind of a relief. Can the 355 level and then the 357 level be hit? That'll be big, a big deal because you definitely want to hold – uh, the 340 uh, support level. IWM Russell 2000, um, it's just kind of so-so. It did okay today, but it's really lagging so far. It's gold that was really the star of the show. Up 31, this is the, I call it the fear factor, uh, the geopolitical fear factor. Gold up 31 at 1873. The 1880 level, it's going to be resistance. By Bitcoin, with the, and, and that means gold is in play as a barometer of fear. But what's really important right now is that the TLT bonds have had no bounce to give yields, lower yields. So that is a big issue. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a, have a wonderful rest of the day. Happy Valentine's to everyone. Tom will be back tomorrow. See you tomorrow in my show, The Tiger Technician's Hour. Have a great evening.